Hello, hi everybody. Um, so here we are. I was super um, nervous to do this for whatever reason, um, but I am practicing what I preach and I am doing what the Lord has told me to do. So I just want to start off in prayer. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for this word, Lord, I thank you for choosing to use me, Father God, to deliver this word to the hearts of your people, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for the unveiling of the true sons and daughters in this season, Lord God. I pray that this word would permeate their spirits, Lord God, and stir them up, Father God. Call them into a deeper revelation of who you are, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray no fear, no anxiety. Just you and you alone, Father God, would speak through this message. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. So, um, I was visiting with a client and um, the Holy Spirit's always really um, pouring out through me whenever I'm one-on-one -on -one with people and it's just so amazing and sometimes I'll go back and I'm just like wow like that was a good word you know um and it's beautiful because I'm just the vessel right so I do my part I read the word I pray and I ask for God to to lead me guide me and use me and that's when I truly see God move um behind the chair and it's just so beautiful because when the Holy Spirit starts to pour out um a lot of times that word is for me too. So I just really felt compelled to release this word um, to the body. So here we go. So um, I feel like there is such a heaviness um, in the spirit and, and even in the natural, you know, we're really seeing it for, you know, secular individuals maybe who aren't even saved yet and they probably don't even fully understand this this tension and this weight that they're feeling you know and um the reason why we're in this space um is because the word of god says that there is a groaning in the earth and that all creation is anticipating for the true sons and daughters to arise and um we're in that season right now you guys um as a body i think that so many people are looking at what's going on around them and doing church as normal and maybe feeling very frustrated maybe feeling very um kind of worthless and hopeless I'm like why are we even doing this you know we're organizing plays and the world is literally going crazy um, and so what the Lord was showing me was that that frustration within you um, is an indication that you are to arise. It is your season to step out of complacency and to really get into that intimate place with the Lord. And if you don't have one, you need to create that time and that space. The enemy's number one distraction for this era, for this generation is time, right? We don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. Well, we make time for what's important. You know, I get up every day and I come to work. Um, that's non-negotiable. Our time with the Lord has to be non-negotiable in this hour. Um, get one-on-one -on -one with the Lord and the Lord speaks through his word. So if you're not hearing from the Lord, um, I encourage you to buckle down in prayer and open your Bible. You know, it's good to fellowship with one another. It's good to have a home church um, and do not forsake the assembly. Don't hear what I'm not saying, but you need to be able to draw up from your own well, okay? And that well within you that spring of living water that i'm pouring out to you guys right now is a product of prayer um intimacy with the lord and reading the word so the more you read the word of god the more you will start to um retain it but also the more 
when things are going on in your life, you'll be able to pull out that scripture, right? And the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. And the word of God also says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and powers of darkness. And so there is a darkness that is trying to infiltrate the earth. And if you are not ready with your armor on, like it says in Ephesians, you know, you don't put the armor on after the battle's already started, right? So you need to be prepared, be anchored, be disciplined and vigilant in your intimacy with the Lord so that you can be of use to the Lord. And the Lord does want to use you. He has a kingdom assignment for you and you alone. And if you're feeling a frustration or you're feeling depression or anxiety, it's because your spirit is at war with your flesh and your spirit knows that there's so much more that you've been created to do in the earth. And the enemy is trying to make you afraid and give you anxiety and anxiousness about all of this stuff that's going on around us um, to keep you and I from understanding that we are the answer. We are the answer to this lost and broken world, but we have to rise up. We have to study the word of God, do an honest evaluation of ourselves and repent. We have to repent for not being about the Father's business. We have to repent for putting our own schedules before our kingdom assignments. And if you're not fully sure of what it is that the Lord's called you to do, I encourage you to get on your face in prayer somewhere, open up the word of God, shut off your social media for a few days and really start seeking the Lord. Um, and also plug into a local assembly that preaches sound doctrine so that you can start to understand the power of submission, the power of leadership, the power of serving other people, and, and get a revelation of what it is that God created you to do in this hour. And don't underestimate the power of um, step one. You know, I have absolutely no idea what comes after these next two months, but I do know that he has given me assignment to do certain things. So he told me to host a mental health segment this month and we're doing that on Sunday at 4.30, okay? And then whenever I was in prayer for that, um, he told me what we're going to do in November. And so as you are obedient to what he's telling you to do, um, maybe it's buy groceries for the lady in front of you. Maybe it's host a book club um, on Thursdays at your house with these specific two people. Maybe it's plug into this local church or join um, a school of ministry or a Bible study or, you know, help serve in the church that you're in. Or maybe it's move from the church you're at. Maybe he's been telling you to move from the church that you're at because you've graduated from um, the baby food and now you need some real food. And it's not to say that the church that you're leaving wasn't valuable because you needed that to get where you are, but in order to go where you need to be, you need more. And so as you spiritually mature, it's important to discern the times and the seasons that you're in. It's important to know where you're at with God. Okay, so I hope this word blessed you. And I just want to say, um, be encouraged. Um, know that your kingdom position possesses so much weight. And the biggest lie that the enemy wants you to believe is that you've blown it and you're too far gone to be used by God. There is nothing neither life nor death nor angels nor demons can separate us from God when we are truly born again Christians in the faith. And I just encourage you so, so much, even if you're not born again um, and you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for your sins, then I want to pray this prayer with you. And I encourage you to know that it means just as much as watching it through a video and doing it in your car than if you came to an altar call. 
Father God, I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ died for me. He paid a penalty for my sin and won the victory over the grave. I'm asking you, Father God, to forgive me for all my past sins and transgressions, Lord, and to come in and be the Lord and Savior of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. You have a kingdom birthright, and I encourage you to get a hold of somebody that can lead you in the direction of sound doctrine, um, a good assembly in your area, a good church in your area, and get plugged in and start to mature as a believer. You have an assignment. The very hairs on your head are numbered. And as a stylist, I know that that's a lot of hair, okay? Even if you don't got a lot of hair, there's a lot of hair up there. And my Bible says, your Bible says, that the very hairs on your head are numbered. And he created you on purpose, for a purpose, for such a time as this. And we can handle it. And if you got any kind of background like I got, okay, what's going on out there, we can handle it, okay? We're called... He will equip us, and as long as we are walking in obedience unto the Lord, there is nothing that we cannot handle um, out there, okay? So be encouraged. Ask the Lord to strengthen you in your discipline. I really feel that for somebody, you know, um, your discipline. The Lord will discipline and guide you. He will be a lamp unto your feet. He will produce fruit um, in, in you and you're co-laboring with him. So you got to do the work. You got to do the work. Um, Pastor LaJesca said that on the word I was listening to this morning. You know, she's talking about like, it's not that he loves some of us more than others. It's that we've done the work. Okay, she's done the work. She is where I want to be. I might be where you want to be, right? But we have to have healthy mentorship that can be honest with us, raw with us, call sin, sin, because you cannot hear from the Lord if you're not in repentance. If I um, was still stuck where I was six months ago, three months ago, um, with unforgiveness in my heart, for example, um, I would not be hearing from the Lord properly either. So I just encourage you to really do an honest evaluation of yourself. It talks about that in Romans. Don't think of yourself better than you truly are. Do an honest evaluation of yourself and that comes from, Lord, search my heart. Search my heart. If there is anything within me that is not of you, God, take it, take it away and repent in turn. Repentance means turn the other way. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. No, it means turn the other way. Turn the other way. Elijah ran from Jezebel. He ran, okay? So run the other way. Um, but I just encourage you, you're not too far gone. There's nothing too ugly, too dirty for God, and God will use it all for his glory. Not because we are these awesome, magnificent beings, but because he paid it all. He paid it all on the cross so that you and I might have life and life more abundantly. Not to live in fear, not to shrink back, not to think that the world's doomsday, right? And we're all gonna suffer and burn forever. Like, no, no. If you're a believer, then this is not it for us, okay? This is this is our earthly experience and we are promised an eternal life with our heavenly father. So get up, dust your shoulders off and get out there and do what he called you to do. Just do it. I promise you there's nothing more fulfilling than serving the Lord. Um, I own a business and I would be bored already doing hair. I love my clients. I love doing hair, but I love ministering to my clients. I love being of true use to them. And what he's going to do in your life is so much more valuable than gold, diamonds, rubies, all of it. Like it just is such a fulfillment down in your soul, knowing that you are a co-laborer of Christ. So I hope this blessed you.
subscribe, like, comment. I'm sure there'll be more to come. Um, but yeah, I hope that this blessed you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.